Good day everyone, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. So we have some werewolf blood, which we need to put into our mailbox and send it to LaCroix. Which I mean, it would probably would be easier to just give it to him, but I guess we can't do that. And then we'll go to Grout's mansion and try to find him, I guess. Since we don't really have any side quests that we can possibly do right now. So let's put in our blood, not our blood, the werewolf blood. Leave. And go to Grout's mansion. If the game would load. Oh, it activated when we did that. I think if we would go in, there would be money in the mailbox, but I'm too lazy to go in again. Uh, I should actually, after doing this quest that we will do right now, uh, I should go to the nightclub and see if Venus will give me money, maybe. I would love that. I love money. Need a ride. At least in video games. Yeah, just drive to Grout's mansion. Oh, nines! Yo! What's up, my friend? I Yo. like him. What are you doing here? Yo, nines! What's up? No. That wasn't really a yes or no question. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Uh, pardon me. Huh? And he just leaves, not telling me anything? Okay. Did somebody shoot something? At least that was the sound. You know what? I kind of want to just save my game right now and reload it. Because... The text box is not... Updating really annoy me. Okay, I reloaded my game again. Hopefully... Uh, it... Fixed that, I don't know. So let's enter the mansion. And I think we should probably ready our weapon. We'll see. Him. Hello? I should have drank her blood actually. <laughs> yeah, I should try to do that more often. So, so these guys, the one that's walking around over there they're more aggressive than the women I guess kind of because they see you and they're much faster These things we find them it is quite all around the mansion. The happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular, of unique interest to my station, both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old guard has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. No, better that I continue my studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. 
I am confident no cure for my condition or that of my beloved wife lies within our figurative minds waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories recovered from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals. Sorry, Sigmund, but I choose to stay my course. In time, too, may your star fade and disappear. Uh, okay. That was interesting, I guess. Um, I think we want to go this way. And I want to check something for the dude. Okay, so we need 10 points to level that up. And this is locked. Can't pick the lock. But we can go here. And this guy is just playing with a <laughs> candlestick, I guess. <laughs> At least he's having fun, but I probably will have to kill him, right? Let's try to drink his blood, maybe. Since I know we won't be able to speak him, and there's something on the desk over there. On the right side. <laughs> maybe I should just kill him. Okay. Perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time. Time, however, erodes human perception and then in turn warps the mind. The mind is capricious, having various effects on perception, time, and the mind itself with harmony progress is made okay oh yeah that's right we need to light uh, all of these things scarlet torkelson circus performer what uh, does that do biography of 1930 circus performer scarlet the perforated lady torkelson best known as the assistant to shaky sill Manfredi, the notorious epileptic knife thrower. This book raises your Dutch talent. Nice. Um, I forget what we have to do. There we go, we should- we opened it, we- we did it. Randomly. I don't know, with puzzles like these, usually... I'm too freaking lazy to... Read, I guess. Oh, we can't go here. Uh, you know... I'm not gonna listen to that. It's basically Alistair Crowd, is a Malkavian. And he's just talking about his illness. I can't say illness because being a vampire is not really an illness, but basically, yeah. But I mean, those audio files, they take up a long time, you know, and I don't want to make the episodes so freaking long. We came through here. This door is locked. We can't really go upstairs right now, I think. There we go. Ugh! The camera in this game sometimes. I can't. I don't know what that does. Does it close? Oh, it closes. It. Okay, I see. I 
I mean, it's just easier to drink all of their blood. I guess I have to go this way, maybe? That's some kind of picture of a woman, I think. So you can see the view of downtown. Um, the hills, I don't know. Okay, that felt weird going down these stairs. Some of the enemies, if you don't aggro on them, they don't aggro on you, basically. But it's hard to know which ones will attack you and which ones won't, so... Wait, we, we were here, so... I guess we should just kill them, it will be easier. Since so then we can walk around, basically. door is locked. That was a window. So as you can see, even though I've almost killed, I killed these two, there's still two standing here, which means it's not really a mirror now, is it? There's something we can press. There we go. Oh, this is where I tried to climb up and I basically failed. Now there might be, I don't remember, is there a book that we want to press or something like that? I think this might be it, but I can do that. Chaos, like the mind, can be understood only through the scientific process. Order, however, is only as good as the perception thereof. Time is the key that links the two and bears witness their ebb and flow. Yeah, it's easier to just randomly press the buttons. So let's hope I won't die. I didn't. Okay. Now we might want to save actually. Yes. If my game won't glitch out. That would not be fun. Be really freaking careful. Terrell Fang. Frenzy check modifier plus one. Good, I guess. And we need to activate this thing, I think. So, yeah, if we walk into these 
electricity thingies basically we die I think this reactivates them, I'm not quite sure. Oh wait, let's see. Do we need to press it? Ah no, good good that we pressed it. If we wouldn't have done that, we would have had to gone here again. That would not have been fun. Oh no. But we went here, we don't need to go in there again. Now where did the door open? Over here, I think. Yeah. Oh, they can't cross this thing. <laughs> That's funny. Blood packs, Elder Vite. Stronger blood packs, I think. Nice. I honestly needed them, so. I didn't know if I should have went that way where the enemies were, but still. But I don't know why there's locked ammo in this room. Literally, only the ammo box. A morphine bottle. This one has a lot of blood on him. Does this mean he's a chunk of vampire or something?
So that's his wife. If you wondered. Kind of reminds me of Batman. Dr. Freeze, what's his name? The ice guy, <laughs> I don't remember. His wife is kind of in a similar position in a way, I guess. Dr. Prest, or Dr. I don't remember what's his name. Brain, okay. So this is what's left of Dr. Alistair Grout. Ashes and bones. So let's see our quest log updated. You have viewed the charred remains of Alistair Grout. You should probably inform the prince about this demise. His demise. But first we have to run away, obviously. I'm not Grout, you already killed him. Grout is dead? It is to not be by my hand. No matter. Soon your self-made kings and false prophets and all who bear the mark of the beast will be washed from the earth for the coming of the Lord. Who the hell are you? As you burn, tell them it was Grünfeld Bach who sent your damned soul to that lake of fire. All agents of Satan shall return to whence they came. Let this righteous display serve as a promise to all who serve the arch fiend Lacroix. I'm coming for you, Lacroix. By the power of the Lord, I will cleanse your black soul. Yeah, whatever. But still, I have to run away. I think I have to jump down. And be very careful of these guys. I can't go that way. Because they do a lot of damage if they get close to you. Because basically then you're on a fire and... Yeah. See? here let's just hope one of them will run in this reminds me of dark souls aggro one enemy at a time oh i guess maybe i should Probably won't heal me. Oh, it did. Okay, great. We escaped, I think. Should go and speak to LaCroix then. Am I going the wrong the right way? I think. This is the building we have to be in. Yeah. Evening there. Something burning? Ugh, smells like someone burnt your burgers. I don't smell anything. I've got an appointment with LaCroix. Uh sure, I'll open her up for you. Ah, jeez, I could go for one of them double space burgers. Onions and cheese and some bacon and a guacamole. <laughs> God damn it, this guy. The Primogen still haven't been contacted by Grout. I thought I made it clear that you are not supposed to come back until we had heard from him. Grout's dead. Grout's dead? Yeah, and this guy, Bach, set his house on fire and nearly killed me. Bach! Every time I think he's lost the scent. So, 
Buck killed Grout to draw me out. Seemed like Grout was already dead when he arrived. Buck is a hunter. They stalk and kill our kind to appease their god. But like many mortals, their so-called faith is nothing but a conduit through which they quench their killing urge. Who else would have killed Grout? On the way in, I saw Nines Rodriguez leaving the mansion. Look at me. Are you sure it was Nines Rodriguez? Because if it was, the consequences... Do you know where this might lead? Do you really have any idea? I'm positive it was Nines. This may mean war with the Anarchs, is that right? It means... Under most circumstances, I would call a blood hunt on the murderer immediately. However, the Anarchs of this city may interpret such an action to be a declaration of war. I do not want a war with them. This decision will take some time. I need to confer with the Primogen on this. In the meantime, I've come to a decision on the Ankaran sarcophagus, and I believe that for the safety of the inhabitants of this city, we need to place the sarcophagus under Camarilla protection until its contents can be confirmed. You're becoming quite indispensable to me. So, out of all my available personnel, I'm going to entrust the retrieval of the sarcophagus to you. It was quietly delivered to the Museum of Natural History a few hours ago. Whether Let me finish. The manifest from the Dane shows there was a small box from the same dig on board, but it was listed as missing. Keep an eye open for it. It may have been overlooked. It's crucial we get the sarcophagus in our possession within the next few hours. All these tasks have left me a little short on cash. Yes, of course. Uh, here. I can't have one of my representatives running around ill-equipped for their task. So what do I do now? Here are the keys to the front door of the museum. The sarcophagus should be in an examination room of some sort. There's a small security staff on site, but I don't want a massacre. Mortals are just as easy to deceive as they are to kill. I'm ready to go, but not through the front door. No keys. There is a degree of immediacy attached to this task. Work fast. And, as on the Dane, you are not to open the Ankaran sarcophagus for any reason. Excuse me. Okay. Um, let's see. The prince would appreciate your taking... The Ankaran sarcophagus from the museum, museum and bringing it to him for safekeeping and do it without killing anyone if possible. Uh, I will go to the Annex first, I guess. Because I really want to know what they will say, I guess, if they will say anything. We'll see. I wonder if Nines is at the bar. Hmm. Okay, so on this episode here, everybody, I hope you enjoyed it. We will see Nines in the next one, maybe, if he's there. And yeah, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And if you want more, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.